What's going on guys? It's me, Bunchboy21. Hope my face cam is working because in the um, other episode, I said I got it repaired and brand new. And oh my gosh, guys. We're having so much fun in Zexal. We're still on the hard mode. Episode 44, if I am correct. And yeah, guys, to continue off, we're going to be versing Rio, first of all, which is pretty much Shark's sister. I hope I've got the thumbnail right because I did plan... Sorry, not the thumbnail. I, I had a script planned, so I quickly just checked it on my... Um, Phone just to say, right, this is what we're going to be doing in these attacks for these two episodes. And then, well, tomorrow I'm going to be recording the Snipers and Thieves, hopefully in the morning, because I don't know if you can see, but my curtains are going to really annoy you. I don't know. But let's see what she's got. Oh, she's got Gishi deck. <sighs> One thing I hate about these Gishis is because of that. Look at that. Level 10, and she's managed to able summon it. It's so annoying. It really is. But let's just see. Yeah. A monster already with 3,200 attack points. Not good. So let's draw and see what we've got. So let's activate you. And then let's activate it so we can add whatever from our deck to our hand. I'm going to add the um, DD Swell Slime from our deck to our hand. There we go. And then we're going to use the effect of it straight away. So yeah, there we go. So boom, yeah. Let's um, send you and send... I forgot to say, yep, to you to the graveyard as well. And then we're just going to um, summon you in attack mode. And what I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm going to set um, two cards face down for now and just end my turn. Just in case. I know there's another two, but we're going to hold on to those for now. Oh, gosh, I hit the microphone. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, this is definitely looking so good so far. We, definitely need to, we need to focus very carefully here. Yeah, that goes off Gishki's monster's effect. You pay a 1,000, draw one card if it's a Gishki, reveal it, and, yeah... But not for long, because I'm activating Solemn Strikes and negate your effect, your monster's effect, and destroy it. Solemn Strikes, like, worth 12 quid in, um, on eBay. <laughs> so much, but anyway, you're empty out, aren't you? Oh, you summon this one. This card is summoned. You can add one Gishi monster with a thousand. Oh, come on. Ooh, this is going to be really fun, isn't it? <laughs> But let's just see what um, Rio's got. Okay, so if you can you can reel it and then add a ritual. Oh well. Okay, I should have known you're gonna add Gishki Aqua Mirror. Yeah, Gishki's are really good. And to be honest with you guys, since the link format, ritual monsters have actually seen up the ladders quite recently. It's really nice to see it because rituals are like the second you introduced cards, if I'm correct. And yeah, it's phenomenal seeing them return, so that's fantastic. Um obviously we have to take a thousand. I'm gonna turn my trap cards so we can take more, so that'd be good. So yeah, let's activate you. Uh, not use the effect, but what we will want to do is gain another thousand. Why not anyway, just for good. And also, if you do have anything to stop us, so we can use my Dark Contract with the Witch to destroy anyway. So let's do that. So, yeah, let's draw a card. So that's going to be good. Um, no, I don't want to do whatever. Actually, no, wait, I might actually, because I've got an idea of what we can do. And I think I could do, a, if I'm right, we can do a lot of damage to her this turn. So I'm going to activate um, Dark Contract with the gate. So let's add um, the slime from my hand. So Swell Slime. I know he looks weird, but he's a very good monster. So, yeah, let's do it. So let's perform a fusion. So we'll send um, from my hand to the grave. Actually, we shouldn't have set Dark Call of the Haunted. That would have been so good. We can just bring back that monster with 2200 and then finish it off really easily. Oh, that would have been so good to do. Oh, so annoying when you think of a useless mistake you've done. Oh, well, but... This is attack Rio for now, so boom, there's 2800. And then um, here comes another 2800 of your life points, so boom again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end my turn and see what she's got. So, yep, end my turn. It's your move, and oh, it's going to be a rough one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I'm just sawing my hair out. Oh, and there goes Gishki for you. Oh, there goes the Gishki ritual, so let's see what you send. Two level fours, so that's level eight. What's the turn? You can discard one Gishi monster to card with one card your opponent control some of that into the deck. All my monsters have 3,800 attack points. How are you going to be able to get past them? Oh, you can use the effect. Oh, oh yep, you do. Ouch. Oh, gosh, but... Actually, I wouldn't have summoned that in defense mode. He has 2,800 attack and defense. I didn't know you could just do that. Oh, you know what? I might as well activate this, so... Let's get rid of your ritual monster and um, proceed with some direct attacks. So, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, don't counter with the gate. Let's do that. And, yep, yeah, DG Oracle King's effect. We gain the... Uh, instead of taking the damage, we just pretty much gain the life points. <laughs> why not? Fantastic. But, yeah, I might actually try... I'm thinking of doing a Gishki deck. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just feel like it. Mm, well, 
but let's attack on Rio directly and finish off this duel. 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 I'm saying it completely wrong and I'm so stupid. I don't know why. But fantastic. Oh, we get that. That's not bad. Now we're going to be versing Vetrix and he's using a Gladiator Beast. Oh, that's going to be fun for me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. That's going to hurt. But let's just see how we go. So we're going to go second. So boom, boom, boom from our deck to our hand. Vetrix, you're scaring me. So we're going to scare you. So let's go right now. So Dark Hydra with the gate. Let's activate it and then use the effect of it. So boom, yeah. So we can add uh, you from our deck to our hand. That's going to be really good for us. And then we're going to be activating um, your effect. So boom, yeah. And then we're going to shuffle pretty much all of you into it. But what I feel like he's going to do is going to do something to stop us. So I might set a trap card for, for now. So that'd be good. So let's summon you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you. Actually, I'll set another one as well. So that'd be good. So we'll set two cards at the end of my turn and just see how we can go. We'll just see how it plays. So I'm not going to be activating the effect. I know it's going to keep saying no, but just ignore it at the moment. So let's see. So Vectrix, let's see what you've got. Okay, you set a monster. Is that literally it you're going to do? Oh, we activate full Swords of Room Light. Why not? <laughs> oh, well. Probably just build up his back row. I understand very well. Okay. Okay, yep, and you're just going to end your turn. Brilliant. Um, let's see what I've got. So, let's draw one card. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. I'll accept that. Uh, don't regain the 1,000 life points instead of taking it. That's going to be good. So, yep, there we go. 1,000 life points gained. Not bad. Then I'm going to um, activate the Dark Contract with the Gate. So, let's add whatever from our deck to our hand. So, yep, we'll add you from our deck to our hand. So, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Nicely done, and then we're going to normal summon you and then activate your effects. So then we'll add a dark contract from our deck to our hands. Let's do that. So, and the one we're going to add is the Swamp King one, really good, really nice. So, that's going to be good. So, yep, that's fantastic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my face down to shovel all the cards back into the deck. So, not all of them except for the fusion. So, boom, boom, boom. Let's get you all back into the deck, and then we'll add two DDDs for now. That's what we're going to do. So let's add you and you from the deck to the hand. So let's go. Nicely done. Very nicely done. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end my turn here and just see what um, Vectrix has got. Because so now he's got two turns until Swords of Venom Light is gone. Swords of Venom Light was used in every deck. Like you prevent your mon opponent's monster from attacking for three turns. It then came to a free after Zexal because people were like, who uses that card no more? Like people don't have the time. Oh great, he has a Gladiator Beast, and I shouldn't have known. Uh, equipment to a Gladiator Beast, monster, if it would be destroyed, destroy this card instead. Uh-oh. That's going to be scary. Alright, let's see what we've drawn. Okay. Okay, I am really am interested just to see how this goes. So, first we do gain the 1,000 life points. Um, I'm going to add a DD from our deck to our hand first of all, so let's do that. Um, I might actually add you for now, so DVD of Liz King, and we will build up. A, we're going to be build. We're going to build a um, a good solid attack for us. So let's do that. So now I'm going to activate one for one, and let's send whatever from our deck to the graveyard. Boom, and then let's pretty much get you in defense mode, and then obviously use your fet just to add a dark contract and the one I know, and I and I know the one we need. So and also we might as well use my um, DVD pendulum's effect. So yeah, we'll pretty much get you from the graveyard. Then we'll add a dark contract from our deck to our hands. So let's go for that. So, and yeah, that's the one I want to add dark contract with a witch. So, yeah, that's going to be really good for us, pretty much. That's going to be fantastic. So, we'll put the slime in defense mode. So, that's good. Boom, yeah. Now we take, gain the 1000 instead of taking the 1000. Um, and let's see what I can do. So, I'm going to activate dark contract with the swamp king, just like that. Then use the effect of it just to do that at, from a fusion summon. So, one on the field and one on the field. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, boom, boom on the fields. Shradum. Fantastic. And there we go. Whew, that's quite scary. I will set that for later. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to destroy his um, Souls of Ian Light doing my next turn. So, that's going to be really good. That's going to really help us out. So, let's try and save that. So, boom, there goes another turn of Souls of Ian Light. And let's see, um, yeah, what's Vectrix got? So, no, no, we don't want to activate those effects. No, we, we just want to see 
what you got planned out for us very nicely just done and then yeah we'll see how that what the hell just happened oh he's done that I should have known oh I'm obviously I'm gonna use my trap card quickly so yeah let's activate it and then use the effect of it so let's discard you to the graveyard and destroy that fusion so goodbye oh no he can stop it can he oh well um yeah, I forgot. I should have read the card. <laughs> Oops, I need to read cards next time. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, he's got a monster with a lot of attack points. That's fantastic. Not fantastic. Um, yeah, gosh damn it. We've taken too much anyways. We took too much of a big risk here, so that's painful. Ouch. So, we've lost some life points. I think it's just 200. Yep. We've only lost 200 life points. Don't worry, fellas. We can get this back. We can do it. Trust me. Plus, we've got Call of the Horns and the Invite to support us. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, during the end of the phase, let's bring back our, our fusion monster from the graveyard. So, let's do that. So, come back, my DDD monster. And there you go. Back to the field. Now, we'll use my King's Effect to bring back whatever from the graveyard. So, let's bring back you from the graveyard. We'll take that 1,000. Just kidding. We'll gain the 1,000 life points. So, that'd be good. So, yep, there we go. 1,000 life points just gained. And let's see what we do. So, I draw one card, and then we're going to take 2,000, are we? No, we're going to get in the 2,000. <laughs> so that's going to be good. So, yep, there goes 1,000. And then um, here comes another 1,000 for us. Really good. So that's really good to see. And, uh, yep, let's take a look. So, first of all, we'll activate Dark Contract with the Gate to add whatever from our deck to our hand. So let's add, um, obviously, you from our deck to our hand. And then um, I'm going to perform a fusion summon with the Dark Contract with the Swamp King. And the one I'm going to fusion summon is that by using the one on the field and hand. Oops, I need to select them both. So, yeah, and they both go to the graveyard. That's perfectly fine for, with me. And, yeah, there we go. We'll summon you. So, boom, yeah. Since we did that, we'll bring back whatever from the graveyard. Just because I want to gain those 1,000 life points again. Just to help us build up. We're building up a powerful defense here for us. And thanks to his equipped spell, it's going to be really annoying for us as well. So that's going to be even more worse. But we'll see how it goes. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to normal summon this. And then I'm going to use this effect right now. So let's um, change the level of our DD slime to a full. Oh no, he's got Book of the Moon. So he sets it. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh well. We're just getting my turn right here. Oh, that's quite annoying. Fangu and the Swords of Venom Light's gone. That was so annoying. Oh, couldn't tell you how long that was. <laughs> but I'm worried now his future's going to attack one of our monsters. He's probably going to go for the one with the lowest attack. Yeah, I should have known just to do a lot of damage, even though we've got a ton of life points. Like, look at that. So much. But we've lost 1,600. Don't worry, we'll gain that amount back soon. Um, so, Vectrix, let's see what you've got. So... You place a face down. Okay, is that literally it? Yeah, it's just that's it. Oh, well. I should have known. Uh, let's draw one card. Not bad, actually. That's not a bad card, actually. I've got an idea we can do. Yeah, we're going to use these effects right now. So, we'll gain the 1,000 life points. And then we're getting another 1,000. And I've got a really juicy idea we can do. So, yep. Let's um, pretty much gain 1,000 again. Very nicely done. Um... We'll summon DD Savant Kepler, then add um, whatever Dark Contract we need from our graveyard, from our deck to our hand. So we'll add you, Dark Contract with the Witch, so that'd be really good. And then we're going to, oh no, hold on. Yeah, we we'll definitely want to activate that next. So yep, yeah, there we go. So then I can add you. Unfortunately, I did normal summon this turn, so that's going to be really difficult. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you for now and just, yeah, end my turn here. So that's going to be all right. I hope he goes for a fusion attack. But I definitely think it's going to go for the one with zero attack points. And there's like no support for it. So. <sighs> Not good. Not good for us. Oh well. We've got a ton of life points anyway. Yeah I should have known you're going to do that. So say goodbye to our monster. I know it's going to be painful. So boom. Uh, 3000 cut off from us. Since it's a pendulum it goes to the extra deck. This might be a long battle. I'm sorry but it really is going to be isn't it. Oh my gosh. So. Yep, main phase two, and then... Oh, you just decided to go to your end phase. Oh, well. All right, let's see what you've got. So, my turn. Draw one card, and then we're going to be using uh, whatever effects we've got. So, yep, we'll do that. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to burp. 
very rude. So as soon as we lost 3,000, we'll gain the 2,000 back pretty much. I know that's not all of it, but still good to gain the life points back. Definitely agree on me with that. So yeah, there we go, another 1,000 of them. So that's very nice to do. I'm going to flip some of my face down like that. I'm also going to add um, whatever from my deck to my hand. So yeah, let's do that. So we'll add you from my deck to my hand. Very nicely done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tribute someone, one of my monsters, just to summon you. So... Oh, sugar. It's only um, a different one. Oh, well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to summon you and then use your effect pretty much to turn our slime to a four. So that's going to be really good. So get the slime and go to a four. And yeah, let me just do something quickly. So yeah, there we go. Let's get these two together. Perfectly, very nicely done. So let's get you guys together. So yeah, that'll be phenomenal. Brilliant. And then what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to do another one with the XYZ. So yeah, there we go. Um, we'll summon you pretty much. It's quite crazy. You're thinking, what the hell? But it's because it's part of the rank 5's effect, pretty much. All DD Smash King. It has slightly less attack, but it's still got a powerful effect, I will admit. But yeah, we'll definitely use my um, DD Oblivious King's effect. So we'll bring back whatever from the graveyard. Oh, wait, sorry. My fault. Someone else went off. But yeah, we'll bring you from the graveyard. Instead of taking the 1,000, we'll gain the 1,000 instead. So, yep. There we go, a lot of those cards went off, and we're just going to end my turn here, because I want him to attack my most highest attack mode, well, he's probably going to go for the one that's XYZ. It's still a feint, thank goodness, so we'll definitely increase his attack. Uh, let's just see what he's got, so come on, um, go for the right one, please, go for the one that can do some bow damage to us, go for the ones in attack mode, let's see, so yep, you go for that one. Let's activate my trap card right now, there we go. And then we'll use the effect of it to send you to the graveyard so we can destroy your uh, equipped spell card. Oh no! Come on. Seriously. Actually, come on. That's well annoying. Wow. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm definitely I'm going to use the effect of it so then I can slow card to send to the graveyard. Uh, where's the one I want to send to the graveyard? Um... Yeah, we'll send you from the graveyard. So, there we go. Boom, yeah. And it does look like I might need to do a powerful fusion summon during my next turn. So, we'll definitely do that. Um, let's see. So, draw. And let's see what we've got here. So, this is so long. I'm sorry. Today's vi This video for today is so long. It's ridiculous. But, we'll definitely gain the 1,000. Then, we'll gain another 1,000. And that'll be really good. So, Hold on for a sec. Let's just gain the 1,000 again. So, boom. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add whatever from that deck to our hand. So, let's do that. Dog contract with the gate. So, we'll add you from our deck to our hand. That would be really nicely done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate um, Dark Contract with a Swamp to perform a Fusion Summon. So, let's Fusion Summon you. And we'll use the ones in my hand for now. So, let's do that. So, Fusion you two together to summon this Fusion with 2200 attack points and that's just ridiculous. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the set monster and watch this really carefully. I hope I can, yep, I can use the effect right now. So, let's return a um, you from the... Oh no! Come on! Seriously, actually, come on. This is an actual joke. Oh, we'll just attack a set monster anyway and just see what it was. So, let's destroy the set monster. So, boom, yeah. Uh, not bad, but what I'm going to do here is do my main phase 2. I'm going to activate the Dark Contract, whatever, again, so I can gain those life points. So, yep, I'm just going to end my turn right here. This is not looking too good, because I really needed that fusion. So, you've drawn one card, Vetrix. Let's see what you've got now. So, uh, yep, Battle Phase. I should have known. You're going to go for the fusion, aren't you? Oh, well. Oh, dear. So we lose 200 life points. Okay, that's very obvious to take note of. Um, oh, I'm not sure what we can do. Oh, really, I'm not sure what we can do. It's going to be really annoying. So let's draw one card. Yep, I know, I know, I know. We get used to it. I know you're bored, but we've got to do it. We've got to do it. We can do it, but it just this this is the point of Yu-Gi-Oh. It can take a while. I know today it can be done in six turns. It's ridiculous, but in this, oh my gosh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a uh, dog contract with this gate so I can add whatever from my deck to my hands. What I add you for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a fusion summon. So let's fusion whatever in my graveyard. So go, 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 go. So we'll use that. And I'll banish the two XYZs for now because we really don't need them no more. So say goodbye to those two. Someone head low to this.
monster. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back another one of those DDs from the graveyard. So, yeah, we're going to bring back you from the graveyard. Something like that. Boom, yeah. Very nicely done. It's still taking the 1,000. We'll gain the 1,000. However, any bow damage due to Vectrix, he will take his half to now. So, that's quite annoying. But well, now what we're going to do is an attack with my um, powerful fusion monster. Oh, my gosh. No, seriously, come off it. Actually, come off it. This is stupid. Wow. Oh, this is literally giving me a headache right now. Oh, my gosh. Um, main phase two. Actually, I've got an idea. So, let's summon DD Performant and uh, Performant XYZ summon. So, yep, we'll put XYZ summon you two together. Just like that. So, here we go. Boom, yeah. Very nicely done. And, yeah, that's going to be really good so far. Then I'm going to... Um, no, he's got Solemn Warning. Good news is he has love, He had to pay life points. So that's fine with me. But still annoying to see. Um, nothing I can do at the moment. Um, yeah, there's nothing much I can do. I'm just going to end my turn here. Yeah, this is really difficult for me at the moment. So he draws one card. He doesn't have any more... Oh, he's only got one card in his hand now. But what's he going to do with it? Oh, he's just going to attack, right. Oh, he's not going for the one with the dark, with the call of the haunted, because he knows he'll increase my um, zone, so that's quite annoying. This is ridiculous. Come on, seriously, actually come off it. It's so annoying. Wow. Uh, this duel's taken forever. Seriously? Oh, my gosh. Yes, no. That's not what I really needed. Come on, come on, come on. I know, I know, I know. Gain life points, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. We've got used to it anyway. So, let's see. So, yep, these dark contracts go off. I understand very well. Um, so, yeah, that's good. Uh, we'll activate the um, gate one. So, we'll add a DD from my deck to my hand. So, yep, let's activate. Yes, yeah, add you from my deck to my hand. Very nicely done. Then we'll activate dark contract with the swamp. So, then we can perform a fusion summon. This is the only one I can really fusion summon. It's going to be really annoying with me. But, yeah, let's remove and play whatever. And then summon you for the, to the field. So, that would be really nice. So, boom, yeah. Very nicely done. Then we'll activate my King's Effect right now so we can bring back whatever from the graveyard. And that's the one I want to bring back from the graveyard just for now. So that's going to be really good since we have a backup now to support us. Very nicely done. And yet we'll gain the... We're on t over 20,000 life points. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Then we're going to attack your set monster. But then what we're going to do is activate my monster's effect so there's a turn you... And then let's equip your fusion. And oh my gosh. Look at that. We've just emptied your back row. <laughs> and finally, we're going to be able to attack you directly with our monsters. But 6,200. Wow, that's a lot. But very painful. But yeah, it's still anyway. You take half the battle damage this turn. But it's still worth it anyway. So boom, there we go. We'll deal some more damage to you. The main reason I did it, just to protect us. But that would be nice though. Like, look at that. 3,200. My mind says 3,200. Unfortunately, it's going to be half. So... Quite annoying, but still fantastic to see. Very fantastic, but unfortunately, though, I have to discard some cards during my end phase. There's too many in my hands. So, yep, I must discard a card, so I'll discard you for now. Vetrix, you've got nothing in your hand or field. Now you have one card. I wonder if it's going to be the lucky one for you. I don't think it's going to be. Ah, oh, it's a set monster. Oh, well. But it's very nice now. We've got your card equipped, so it's pretty much you can't get it back for now. We've got your one card. And then take the 1,000. Just joking, we gain the 1,000. So that's going to be really good for us. So let's gain the 1,000. And let's just do this attack. Because, oh my gosh, I need I need some rest after this. It's such a crazy match. So yeah, let's destroy your face down. Boom, yeah. You know what? Let's attack with the most powerfulest one we've got on the field. 6,200 attack points. OMG, that is a lot. Boom, yeah. Boom. That is a lot of life points. Thank goodness we've done it. I'm so pleased. Oh, Drop a like on today's video, guys. Come on, drop a like. That's well good. And now I've got one more final duel to do, and it's Anna. And pardon me, I am so nervous of what this is going to be. Ouch. And I am really am freaking out what's going to be the um, deck going to be like. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's going to be bad. Oh, dear. Um... Uh, I'm not sure this is a good hand at the moment, but let's see what you've got. You've got three in the extra deck. Oh, Upstart Goblin. I'll, t I'll accept the 1,000 life points. Okay. Let's see what you've got. Uh, you play some monster defense, set some cards, I believe. Yep, and that's just going to end your turn. Alright, well, let's draw one card. 
And now I'm going to activate the dark contract with the gate. So let's do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, the swell slime. My fault, have you say it? So, yep, yeah, well slime. Swell slime. Swell slime's the name, how you pronounce it. So that's good to do it done. Then we're going to normal summon Cavant Kepler. Uh, and we're going to add whatever from our um, doodah we can do. So I'm going to add um, you from the deck to my hands. That'll be really good done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a fusion summon. So there we go. Boom, yeah. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. So, yeah, there we go. We've performed a fusion summon. There we nicely, very nicely done. So, boom, yeah, there goes a fusion. And now what we're going to do is attack your set monster. Then I'm very unworried what else she's got for us. So, we need to take note about the flip. Select one trap card from your deck and place it on top. If Necro Valley is on the field, you can add this selected card to your hand instead. Oh, gosh, it's bottomless. Really good trap, but it's still a one. Like, it used to be a two in GX, but then when it came to a one... Uh, just weak, really. I'm not being rude, but yeah, just weak. Not good enough. Oh, well. Um, since we now know that's bottomless, but we don't know where it's now being put in the hand, um, we have to now think to ourselves, right, what is she going to do? Because we need to work it out here. Oh, gosh, damn it. Um, no, there's nothing I can do here. Brilliant. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh... I'm just going to activate um, my Call of a Hornet, actually, before she uses a bottomless. So, yeah, but there we go. And then we're going to activate my... Um, we're going to activate this, so we gain the 1,000 during my next turn. Then we're going to be activating uh, Call of the Haunted. So, let's go. So, now we'll add um, you from our graveyard to the field. So, boom, yeah, DD Oracle King the Ark. Very nicely done. Let's just hope. Let's just hope we can get some pass through here, because it's going to be crazy. Um, yeah, so I'd like to activate my... Trap, so let's discard you and destroy you. Because we know bottomless is the other one. It's going to get destroyed anyway. Why activate it? Unless it's got a good effect. But I, I, I used to have Metal Reflect Slime. But a Trap Monster. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. But I do sometimes feel like the Trap Monsters in, um, was an example for making Pendulums. That's just my ability. That's just my thinking. But it's not bad. Oh well. So we're gaining the 1,000 life points. And now doing main phase. We're going to add whatever from my deck to my hand. So let's see. So... Uh, what we'll adds you from our deck to our hand before that, and let's continue. So there we go. And then, um, yep, yeah, since you can't use bottomless, it's going to be really nice because it's underneath 1500 uh, attack points. We're going to attack Anna Kaboom directly. And, oh, oh it's a Trishula. Dun, dun. I try Goody, sorry. I said Trishula. Why did I say Trishula? I'm thinking of the Synchro. Synchro Monster, I'm so stupid. Oh, uh, that card was a two back in the day. Actually, it was a one back in the day, but then came a two. And I'm not sure if it's three now or two. I can't remember. But, yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. So, let's continue off seeing this um, duel. Uh, what you've got? End your turn. Fine. That's fine with me. Let's draw one card. Let's see what we've got. A little darkness. Let's not, let's not take our chance. But what we'll do is add a good monster from our deck to our hands. And that'll be really good. So... Yep, um, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go, so yep, let's add that from our deck to our hand, and then, sorry, now let's add it from our deck to our hand, so let's go, so we'll select you from our deck to our hand, DD perform it, there we go, nicely done, very nicely done, we'll summon you, and then what we're going to do is do an attack, so yep, boom, yeah, let's activate DD perform it, do you directly, so boom, there goes 1400 of your life points, then here comes another amount of 1,400 life points. So there we go. So boom, yeah, another 1,400. And then why not finish it off with another 1,400 just to finish off the duel. So that's going to be really good. So, yep, that's going to be perfect. And wow, we've done it. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. We've done it brilliantly. For no reason we get less. Oh, we just got a rocket card. So that's incredible to see. Oh, we don't have enough anyway. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm such an idiot. Look what I'm wearing from uh, the other videos. I'm sorry, if the, I hope the face cam's on. It's the little Lely top I got for my birthday. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm such an idiot. I forgot to say that in the other video. Oh, I'm completely stupid. Oh, I get you. we've got that in the deck. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna be ending off today's video. Sorry, no face cam should be because, oh my gosh, these lights are phenomenal, but I will adjust them carefully. But yeah, guys, 
It's been awesome. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share with friends. Also, subscribe to channel to see some more um, Yu Gi Oh! Clash of Clans, some few more sniping stuff. He's and yeah, Cuphead on the 29th. I'm gonna keep reminding it until the day, but yeah, guys, it's been awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Goodbye.